Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> and Darren with us here, as always. Muffin man! Muffin man! So yeah, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me in a special place. I'm in Ackill Island, and it's a place I wanted to come to for a number of years. I nearly came here a month or so ago for my inaugural trip in my van, but I'm delighted now that I'm finally here, and I'm here with Mr. Dermot O'Donovan, who is now going to make Nutella and crackers. I think he should give me one or two anyway, yeah, for me having to put up with him. But one of the things that makes this such a nice place is get out of the way, because I'm going to point to something, is right below me here, you have a house which has just been made really famous now because of a movie, which is apparently going to win a number of Oscars, which is The Banshees of Innis Sharon. If you haven't seen that movie, you should. It really, really um, highlights the beauty of Ireland and everything that we have around. Now, I'm here for a couple of days. I'm going to explore around here. But we said we'd come here and we'd start our trip in this location because we were able to park here last night. We got here quite late, had a lovely breakfast then this morning, uh, had a nice cup of coffee there, relaxed here for the morning. It's been a kind of a hazy, overcast day, a bit of rain, a bit of drizzle, but I think we're going to get some really, really nice light because out over here we can look back in on Ireland and back in on the uh, mainland. So yeah, this is what we're going to be doing. Let's see how we get on today. Yeah, I do, sure. No. Same answer as I've always said. Do you know? Count your fingers. Five fingers. I've no sooner come down to the beach here now in Keem and I've spotted this very unusual textures in the sand. There's some darkness within that and obviously the lightness within the sand. And it does kind of flow out towards the sea. Now the scene is quite flat here today so I think it's probably going to be some moody images. So I do think this might actually work well as a black and white with the contrast that's within the frame. Uh, I've gone for F11, I'm at a 1 125th of a second, ISO is at 100 um, and not much really for me to contend with in regards to the sky because we're really really clagged in here with the clouds that's surrounding us but hopefully we get a gap and we hopefully get a bit of nice light that will actually lift this area. I'm going to head over now towards this uh, famous house where uh, Brendan Gleeson lived in the movie, um, Banshees of a if you haven't seen that movie, you know, I think you'll know, or if you have seen it, you'll know something uh, horrendous happened in this house in the movie. But I'm going to go over here and see if I can find a composition with it. And yeah, I'll show you this first shot and we'll head over there then. Well, we had to do some hard work for some images there. It was on and off, raining and misting, and it was just constantly with the cloth having to clean the front of the lens. Now, I put on some uh, filters as well, even though there was no real light, and I went down towards the water's edge, and I said I'd take some long exposure shots. 
almost had a big mishap because I turned around for a moment and all of a sudden I heard a bang and the camera had gone forward and hit the sand. Luckily, nothing was damaged, nothing was broken or anything like that. I was able to pick the camera back up again, give it a quick clean and continue shooting. We had a stop in the rain then and then we had a nice bit of light as well. So then I put on my 0.9 ND grad and I went for some half a second exposures just to capture the beautiful water here. And it's absolutely crystal clear as well as it was coming in. And now I've come along further along on the beach here and I can see that there's a stream that runs down from the mountain behind us and it continues down here to the beach. But you've got this beautiful S curve and intertwined in that then as well is the dark sand that I would have experienced when I first came onto the beach. So that's coming down through this as well also. But I think that's going to be a lovely shot. I'm actually going to do a couple of different types of shots for here. I'm going to go into landscape orientation first and foremost and I'm going to focus stack. So I'm going to take a shot on the left, a shot on the right and then a shot in the distance just so I get it sharp the whole way through. And after I get that then I'll change to portrait because I think this might actually lend well to the portrait scene because in landscape I'm only seeing the left hand side of the headland that you can see there on the screen. I don't see anything on the uh, right hand side but I could always move and go into the middle of the stream as well which I might do but I might lose that separation as well. But yeah some really really nice shots We're having to work hard for them. Now there's another gap here now as well you can see the sun is coming out on me so I'm going to take this opportunity while I don't have any rain. What an absolutely stunning location to take some photos. I tell you, we worked hard for those shots there today. The, uh, the rain was absolutely relentless and we got soaked, but I still think we got some beautiful photographs. I took a photograph actually there, there was a bit of a pool. Hopefully it worked out, I'm not quite sure if it did or not, um, because of the amount of rain that I would have had and obviously the wind, but I was looking to try and get a bit of reflection of this famous house here in Keene Beach. And then as we were finishing up here, I came back up and took the quintessential shot really because the colors here are absolutely beautiful. The water, like what I said earlier on, is a turquoise blue, it's crystal clear. If we had some nice light with that shot, I think it would really, really jump, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get any more light anyway, except for the burst of light that we did get. But 
Nonetheless, what an absolutely beautiful part of Ireland, part of Eccle. Um, I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this adventure with me. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and I'll see you the next time, hopefully still around in Eccle, for the next adventure that myself and Dermot get up to. Schlange full. Thank you.